Hi, Roy Williams with Airframe Components, and today our topic of discussion will be Cessna 172 swept tail rudders. These rudders were used starting in 1960 and then continued all the way up through 1984 of this particular style of rudder. They still use the same dimensional rudder. It's a different style of construction from 85 and following and on all of your restart Cessna 172s. Today I want to just explain the construction of the 172 rudders, the differences between the uh, different uh, dash numbers of rudders, and to show you uh, what styles of rudders are used on particular models of Cessna 172s. This, this particular rudder has a trim tab installed at the lower end of the rudder. Uh, the original swept tail rudders did not have this trim tab. Uh, Cessna started installing this uh, trim tab on later models as a uh, standard factory uh, installation. These particular rudder structures do not have a spar structure inside. The skin is folded over and the rigidity of the folded skin becomes the structure of the rudder. I'll show you a cutaway here uh, seeing what the inside of a 172 rudder looks like. Here we have a donor 172 rudder. You can see this is an early rudder that does not have the trim tab at the lower end and we have simply just chopped this in half to show the inner workings of the 172 rudder. You can see the leading edge skin riveted to the center skin which is in turn riveted to the trailing edge skin. Here we have the three different skins that comprise the 172 rudder. You have your leading edge skin, your center skin, and your trailing edge skin. You can see on the center skin here how the skin is folded over. You have your left side, your leading edge, and your right hand side skin. It's all the same piece of material uh, being folded over, having lightning holes punched along the leading edge. This is what provides the rigidity for the 172 rudder structure. The trailing edge is similar as well one piece of aluminum folded over. Uh, the bends give it the rigidity in the structure of the rudder. The 172 rudders are all of the same construction uh, from the very first swept tails all the way up through the very uh, last of this style of construction. Uh, the only difference in the rudders is up here at the balance horn. We have what we call the long nose 172 rudder and then we have what we call the short nose 172 rudder. This longer nose is used all the way up through 1975 M model 172s. And then in, starting in 1976 with the last of the M models and then the N and P models, they went to what we call the short nose 172 rudder. Uh, this had a different style of balance weight, but the rudders themselves are essentially the same structure other than this upper balance weight area. This long nose rudder would be the 053-1006-66-81 rudders. This short nose rudder would be a 053-1006-108 rudder. Here we have an overhauled 172 rudder ready for shipment. You can see it has all brand new skins, new hinge brackets, new lower tip plastic, and new wiring for the nav light. The upper tip plastic is installed with screws. This can be replaced or reused at your discretion. The rudder is attached to the vertical fin at three different locations. You have a lower hinge point, a center hinge point, and an upper hinge point. Each of these hinge points is simply two brackets back to back encompassing a bearing on the vertical fin. The brackets have a different style of construction between earlier style rudders and later style rudders. On the hinge brackets, the early style of hinge bracket just had a sing single thickness of material bent tabs. On the later style of hinge brackets, there's two thicknesses of bent tabs, one being bent upwards, one being bent forwards, uh, just producing more strength at the each hinge bracket. Uh, 